This is a very brief introduction to D2L Brightspace, one of the learning management systems we have available at the DDSB. To access D2L, students should be using the Chrome browser and be logged into their DDSB student account as shown. You can check this by clicking at the top right and ensuring that your DDSB login information is displayed. Next, navigate to the student mobile campus by typing in student ddsb.ca into the address bar of Chrome. You will be presented with the following page. You want to select the green D2L Brightspace block as shown. Please note that the terms D2L and Brightspace are often used interchangeably. You may be asked to log in. If you're asked, use your DDSB student login information. This is the letter S followed by your student number with at ddsbstudent.ca at the end. It's the same login you use to access the Chrome browser. You will be taken to the board home page for D2L. Courses that you are taking at the DDSB are found under the My Courses section of this home page. If you are taking an e-learning course at other school boards, these courses may be found in the My Courses and Other Boards area towards the bottom of the page. If you don't see your course listed, it might be too early to access the class. Classes are usually listed on the first day of the new semester. For further questions, ask your teacher. Select the class that you're looking to join. Once you access the class, you will be presented with the course homepage. It is important to note that your teacher may have customized this page based on the class's needs, so things may look a bit different for your course but here we will briefly review the default layout. Announcements are a common way for teachers to provide important reminders and key information for the day and week. Other teachers will use an activity feed to accomplish the same thing in this area of the course homepage as well. Review this area closely each time you access the class and scroll down the page to ensure that you did not miss anything important or any earlier announcements. To the right of the announcements is a course calendar. Your teacher may be using this tool to keep assignments, discussions, and quizzes listed on the main page. You may notice due dates and availability of course tasks listed. Again, always check with your teacher to ensure that this tool is being used and what tasks are being used in the calendar app. The next thing students should check our alerts, discussion forum notifications, and any D2L email from the teacher. A small orange notification dot will indicate if there are any notices for you to check. This is found at the top right area of the home page. Also along the top of the course home page are various tools that your teacher may or may not be using. Again, always confirm with your teacher. The content tool is essentially the textbook for the course. Teachers will post course content and notes here for review and study. In many cases, teachers will only release content in small chunks at a time, so don't be alarmed if you don't see the entire course listed on the first day. Next is the Discussions tool. Many teachers will use this area of the class to provide a way for students to engage with the class on various topics relevant to the course. Check this page carefully to determine if discussions have due dates or have limited availability. Teachers may be moderating the topic, which means that the teacher has to approve the student's posts first. Other discussions may require the student to create a post first before they can see what their classmates have posted. For more details on how your teacher uses this tool, reach out to the teacher for further clarification. Next, we will take a look at the Assignments tool. This is often called the Dropbox for your assignments. Here, you can review the due dates for any assignments that are upcoming and also the ones in the past. You can also check the completion status to determine if you've actually submitted an assignment. And you can also check for any feedback that your teacher has provided under the Evaluation Status column as well. I will now demonstrate how to submit a file in the Assignments folder. 
Please note, I'm using a PC and a file I have created as a PDF on my desktop. I'm going to scroll down to the assignment I want to submit. I'm going to select on the title and in this case I want to add a file to submit for my teacher. So I'm going to select add a file. I'll select my computer, upload, and this is the file that I want to submit for my teacher. I'll click add. And this next step is very important. I must hit this submit button. Once I've hit the submit button, if I scroll down, I will see a green confirmation email sent successfully message. And if I go to the top of the page and I hit done, I will also see here an indicator that I have submitted an assignment. Your teacher may post a score and add feedback to an assignment. You can review available feedback from this page as well. If you scroll down here, you will see a feedback notification under evaluation status. Click on any unread feedback. You will actually see what the teacher had written right here. And if they provided a score, you'll see it here. Many teachers will actually uh, provide feedback for an assignment without giving a score if they're doing it for formative purposes. You'll also see if an assignment was submitted on time or if it was submitted late. And you can actually click on your submitted file to double check what you have done. Next, we will review the quizzes tool. As you review this tool, take note of any due dates and times for the quiz and availability dates and times. Again, these options will differ from class to class, so check with your teacher if you have questions. When you start a quiz, take special note of the time you are starting the quiz, how much time you have to complete the quiz, and how many attempts you're allowed to take the quiz. Only start your quiz when you are sure that you are ready and that you have a stable and consistent internet connection. These are just some of the common options and features that are available in D12 Brightspace. Communicate with your teacher early in the course if you are unclear as to the expectations around the course content and assessment tools your teacher may be using.